let's look at the basic structure and difference of brushed and brushless DC motors. A brushed DC motor consists of a stator, rotor, an electrode called the brush, and a commutator that connects the brush to the coil. In general, permanent magnets are used for stators, and electromagnets are used for rotors. When an electric current is applied to the brush, the current flows through the commutator to the coil of the electromagnet. The positional relationship between the brush and the commutator changes the direction of the electric current that flows through the coil of the electromagnet. The polarity of the electromagnet switches, and the rotor continues to rotate. Brushed DC motors are easy to control and cost less because they are easy to construct, but mechanical contact causes electromagnetic noise, and the brush has a limited lifetime due to mechanical wear. They are widely used in diverse applications because of their simple and easy to control structure. A brushless DC motor consists of a stator, rotor, and sensors to detect rotor position. In general, permanent magnets are used for rotors, and electromagnets are used for stators. Brushless DC motors use a control circuit to control the direction of the electric current that flows through the coils of electromagnets and rotate the motor based on information output by the rotor position detection sensor. Brushless DC motors are efficient energy conversion and low electromagnetic noise, while external control circuits are required, resulting in higher prices. They are often used in applications where reliability or continuous working is required because of long lifetime and low noise. The main structural differences between a typical brushed DC motor and a brushless DC motor is the use of a brush and the type of magnet used for the rotor and the stator. There are also differences in the need for a control circuit, rotational performance, lifetime, and noise. They can be used according to their respective purposes and applications. Please continue to watch the basic video course on motor control.